Hello, today we have this Sony GTK-XB7 party speaker that is completely dead, so let's fix it. As you can see, the speaker is plugged in and when I press the power button, absolutely nothing happens. So let's open it up and troubleshoot. So there are 13 screws on the outside that need to be removed, 5 on the rear, then 2 on each side under rubber feet and finally four here at the center also under rubber feet. After removing all the screws we can just lift the top off carefully because there is a ribbon cable under it. First let's check the power supply. On the yellow connector there, there are 4 pins that should carry 36 volts, pins 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we should check that they actually have that 36 volts. 34 seems close enough. Uh, the pins are all connected so we only need to check one pin. According to the internet there is a common failure with this Schottky diode here. We can confirm this with our multimeter set in diode mode by measuring the diode both in the correct and the backwards direction. We get zero volts in both directions so the diode is shorted. So apparently this chip here can also fail at the same time as the diode. But since we now know that the diode is clearly broken, we'll change that first and see if that fixes the problem. We'll put heat resistant tape on the board to protect the surrounding components. Then we'll add soldering flux to help the solder flow. Before changing the diode, make note of this white line here to put the new one on the correct way. We'll heat the surrounding board up a bit as well to avoid sudden heat expansion and damage to the board. After trying to get the diode to come off for quite a while and it just wouldn't move at all, we had to increase our heat can temperature to 500 degrees Celsius to get it to finally come off. Now let's put the new diode in place, remember the correct direction. Our replacement diode is actually in a different sized package compared to the original one. It is quite a bit smaller, but it has the same exact specs, so there should be no problem. Now let's clean the board up a bit with some rubbing alcohol.
Now let's put the speaker back together and test it out. Now as you can see, the speaker works just fine. So now the speaker is fixed, so that's it for this video, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe and well, I'll see you next time.